Trouble in the mine, Corey. Emily was having trouble by the, the ocean. So, uh, Cranky was being rude with one of the troublesome trucks. This is what you get for smacking into me. He, Emily said, put it down, put it down. No, I shall not. Cranky, he was very mad. I have to get to top of hat if you're going to continue doing this. Ugh, fine, said Cranky. And heaved down the truck. Hey, how am I supposed to get it now? Not my problem, said Cranky. Ugh. She connected herself to the car. Hey, Harvey, what are you doing? Well, I'm supposed to be taking care of Thomas's, Thomas's uh, coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. What? I heard you needed help with that one in the cart. You want me to help? Sure. Harvey <laughs> went over uh, went over Emily and next to Cranky. Yeah. Harvey whispered to Cranky, You could have done better. What? said Cranky. I could have done what? You could have done better. As Harvey helped put it on the last cart. How could I have done better? Just attach yourself to the back of this and everything will fall into place. Okay. As he slowly let down his hook. Ugh. How am I supposed to reach this far? Shush. Just do it. As he attached. Now do. Now just stay there. Uh, Emily started moving with the coat. When she started feeling the pull, ting, 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 ting. Ah, Emily said, why is this so heavy? He, Cranky was going, ah! Yes, said Harvey. See what I mean? You could have done better. As Harvey latched on, on to help Cranky. Ting, 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 ting. Ah, Harvey was having trouble. No, said Harvey. Oh! As Harvey was being lifted up, ting, 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 ting. Ah, uh, Cranky, let go! I can't! Oh! As Emma, we started moving in, her entire load fell. Ah! Uh, Harvey, he was down. Now what? We just had to wait for someone to help. Uh, stay back at the engine shed. And Thomas this was having a good rest. He really needs it, said Percy. He's been busy all day. And all night, said Gordon. I'm actually proud of him. Good. Percy went out. He thought that it'd be a good idea uh, to stay away from the, the, the area that was blocked off. Over there, the track was was broken and very not used to having anybody on it. It's been so long that most of the crevices for her, any of the uh, any of the wheels to go on have g gone. It's now just flat surfaces, so it's been blocked off. Percy has been very cautious around there. He always thinks something's gonna pop out and scare him. Percy, he headed over to Emily to help the mess. First, she took Annie and Clarabelle away from the mess and left them over her, her by a shaft that nobody was supposed to go on. After that, Percy, he helped Emily onto the track back and helped get all of the other parts back on. Once that was done, Percy ta attached himself and started pulling. <sighs> he tooted his whistle at um, Toby, who was sleeping. There was a bit, uh, ever since they added in the junction, he's been stuck using this part. It's been really annoying for him, since after all, he is a train. <sighs> hey, Percy. Hey. You want to help? Sure. 
as Percy helped Toby onto the track. Thanks. They really need to give me more track. Yes, indeed, said Percy. Toby got out of his way and watched Percy do his stuff. It was heavy, but the troublesome trucks weren't fighting it. He just kept going down. Once he reached, reached uh, the station again, he let them in slowly. And he's going all the way around. After he detached himself, both and told Emily to go see at the wreckage. Emily, how about you go take a, a, take a look at the wreckage over there? Sure. Toby moved out of her way. And Emily went to see what the damage was. Ooh, said Emily. The damage was much worse than she thought. I'm so, was this me? No, it was Harvey. Don't you ever say that about Harvey. Harvey's a helper. Okay. As Emily helped get him back up, the track was not, not together, but at least Cranky was back up. Cranky he was putting up his hook, and he wanted to take a long nap. Ah, Harvey, I'm going to get this for you. As Harvey was put back on the track. Wow, thanks. I don't know how long it would have taken for someone else to help me. I know. As Emily turned herself around, and, and Harvey and Emily they went over to see what Percy was up to now. Toby was talking to Percy. Emily listened in very carefully. Harvey seemed to just back away. Listened in closely. So, do you think it was the right thing to do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you two are good friends. Yeah, I just feel like I could be a better friend. Oh, uh, maybe I'll take her load. Maybe that'll help? Sure. You've been acting a little weird lately. Is this about Emily or something else? I don't want to talk about it, said Percy. He cuffed himself to the load. Toby got out of his way. <gasps> and that's where Toby saw Emily. Emily, did you hear anything? No. Emily lied. Percy, he, he walked, uh, chugged up to, up to Emily. I'm going to take your load. Oh, no, you don't have to. No, no, no. It's what friends do. Okay. You're going to have to take it down the old mine shaft. The, the, the mine shaft? said Percy. The place has been abandoned for years. Why would we need to put these over